Hey guys, it's Miss Brittany and Miss Abby here. Um, so we wanted to give you our devotional this week from our own beautiful garden out here. Um, to start with, you're actually going to get your sketch and jot journal that's included. And you're gonna answer the question, have you ever tried to like stay up maybe all night and you couldn't and you fell asleep? So what was that like? Why were you staying up? What were you thinking? Um, were you upset the next day you fell asleep? Um, or did you actually make it all night? And then after that, we have our game and it's kind of like tag, it's called scattered tag. Um, so you're gonna run around and play, get some of that energy out, um, play outside in your front yard um, with your family. So that will lead us into our Bible lesson for today. All right, so we are in uh, the Gospel of Matthew. This is chapter 26, verses 31 through 56. And I won't read uh, the text today. Instead, I'm gonna paraphrase. Uh, for our lesson today. So what's just happened is Jesus has just had uh, the Passover meal with his disciples or the Last Supper, right? And in Matthew's gospel, the next thing that happens is uh, Jesus is predicting his death to the disciples. And he says that they will fall away. Technically, they won't be there for him, right? And they all take offense to this. They're not okay with this. And Peter, of all, right, he says, uh, I will not fall away. I'm going to be there by your side till no matter what happens. And Jesus, of course, tells him, actually, Peter, you will deny me three times before the rooster. Or you'll deny me three times before the morning, rather. So, um, uh, finally, they continue to argue uh, no, Jesus, we will stand by you. We will do this, you know, till death do us part, in a sense. And Jesus says, actually, you won't. And uh, the disciples just don't know what to do with that information. Um, and what's funny is that in the very next scene, Jesus is in the garden. He is praying. He has this very sad and vulnerable moment where he knows that his death is coming. And uh, that some of the disciples are with him. And it's interesting because in this moment, Jesus tells them, make sure to stay awake. Stay awake and be with me during these moments. And each time they fall asleep. And in fact, that last time that Jesus prays, they remain asleep. So what's funny is just earlier in the night, they were saying, no, we will be with you until the end. We will not fall away. We will be your support. And just a few short hours later, in fact, they did fall asleep and Jesus was left alone in the garden to pray. And even though Jesus uh, was, was feeling alone or separated from his disciples, Jesus was in fact, uh, he continued to be connected to God with prayer so he was in fact not alone in that garden now the whole idea of of this is that Jesus is living into his teaching and his integrity uh, until the very end so in Matthew's gospel Jesus is a teacher Jesus is a leader and what Jesus is doing here is showing uh, Jesus's people God's people that Jesus is um, faithful to God and and is going to continue out what he what he set out to do originally in the first place. And so what this means for us is that uh, we are also called to be loyal to Jesus, but it's not always easy all the time. So the looming and large question there is, how can we remain awake during this time? So um, as Miss Abby went through that, in our papers that we send out, of course, we have a script for you to go through and maybe act out and dig a little deeper into those scriptures. Of course, we always talk every week about using like Play-Doh or Legos or something like that to really dig into the scripture and get to know it a little bit better. Um, as you're doing that, one of the, some of the questions we have for you to discuss is, you know, Jesus was there depending on his disciples. So when is there a time that you really needed your friend? and you were depending on them to maybe help you. Did they help you? How did you feel about when they helped you? And what about when they couldn't help you and you weren't able to depend on them? How did that make you feel? So how could you, in all of this, be a good supportive friend and family member during this time? So that's all we have for today. We're gonna make sure we include all our lesson plan for you online. 
um, in our youth and children's email that you'll be getting. And uh, make sure you do your circle time prayer with your family today and just spend a moment um, in prayer with one another. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.